Welcome to this introduction to the column module in StrutCalc. To activate this module, click the tenth icon on the toolbar. This module allows you to design a number of different vertical load support conditions. The typical use of this module allows you to design an axial loaded column. Once you enter the column height, you have the ability to enter the bracing conditions to ensure the column does not buckle due to excessive unbraced length conditions. Once the axial loads are inserted, you can enter load eccentricities as offset beam loads can induce bending stresses in the columns which should be taken into account in the analysis. Once this information is filled in, you can quickly design a column using all the materials available in StrutCalc, including solid sawn, glue lambs, structural composite, steel shapes, as well as tube steel. You can also design columns with lateral load conditions. You can apply a uniform lateral load, up to three point loads, and up to two partially distributed uniform loads. Included in the lateral design is the ability to design stud walls. Just click the checkbox for stud design. Put in the axial loads in pounds per lineal foot and the applicable lateral loads and you can quickly design the wall stud requirements. A new feature in StrutCalc is a cantilever column option. Click the checkbox at the top of the screen. I'll now click the loading diagram and show you an example of a cantilever column. Once you've done this, you will need to add the appropriate vertical as well as lateral loads. As with all beam modules, you can use AutoSize to design the column types in StrutCalc. That concludes this quick review of the column module. Thank you for watching this video.